The city of Lord Rama, Ayodhya, is resounding with his name. There's a flood of devotees. Everyone's eager to catch a glimpse of Lord Rama. And why wouldn't they be? After a wait of 50 long years, on January 22nd, the entire country celebrated Diwali, a glittering festival of lights. But only the invited guests got the chance to witness that historic occasion. The very next day, on January 23rd, the temple doors were opened to the public. Devotees are restless to see the divine and magnificent form of the deity Ram Lala. But those who've caught just a glimpse of Lord Rama's enchanting idol are so immersed in his charm that they've lost all sense of pure reason. The youthful embodiment of Sri Rama is so divine and extraordinary. It's inspired by the descriptions in the Valmiki Ramayana, where Lord Rama's dark complexion is as splendid and tender as a blue lotus. The real reason behind it is actually found in the Valmiki Ramayana, where Lord Ram is described as being dark-skinned. In the hymns praising Lord Ram, it says he's got skin as soft and dark as a blue lotus, and that Sita sits on his left side. With a bow in his hand, we salute the ruler of the Raghu dynasty, Ramchandra. The Valmiki Ramayana describes his form as extremely beautiful, tender, and captivating with a dark complexion, which is why Thiri Dol of Ram Lala is also colored dark. A special type of stone, called Krishna Sila, has been used for carving out this statue, and that's why Ram Lala's idol is black in color, also referred to as Shyam. Rocks have their own tales to tell.